Jones Recipes. Today I want to share with you my favorite guacamole recipe. I saw this recipe demonstrated on television over 10 years ago by Josefina Howard, who was the founder of Rosa Mexicana Restaurants in New York. There are three locations in New York, and now there's one in Washington, D.C. There's also one in Miami, and we're fortunate enough to have one here in Atlanta, down in Atlantic Station. It's one of our favorite restaurants. My husband and I actually visited the one in New York on our 25th wedding anniversary, and what they do is if you order the guacamole, they have what they call guacamole carts, and they make the guacamole right at your table, and you can tell them how hot you want it as far as how many peppers you want in it or mild you want it, and um, it's really a delicious guacamole. So now I want to show you what goes into this guacamole. You will need three tablespoons of white onion that has been finely chopped, a half a teaspoon of a serrano chili that has been finely chopped, you'll need a small vine ripened tomato that has been seeded and finely chopped, you'll need one half avocado, you'll need a half a teaspoon of salt, and you'll need one and a half teaspoons of cilantro. Now the one thing about this recipe that I did want to say is there is no mayonnaise and there is no lime juice. Everything that goes into this guacamole are the fresh ingredients that I just showed you. Now, to serve the recipe after you've made it, you'll need toastita chips. So now I'll show you how to put this recipe together. To start this recipe, I want to show you what I'm going to mix the guacamole in. This is a lava bowl and it is called a mocante bowl and um, it's really rough and so it's really easy to mash everything together. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my mezzaluna and chop my cilantro very fine. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is put a tablespoon of our onion in our bowl. We're going to put a half a teaspoon of our serrano chilies in, half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to put a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, excuse me, of our chopped cilantro. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash this into a paste. So you just rub this against the sides of the bowl until it's a paste. So it looks like we have a paste here, so now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Let me show you what the paste looks like. This is what it should look like. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I do my avocado. I've cut this in half, and I'm just going to go down and score down and across to make some little like squares. And then I'm just going to scoop it out into the bowl. And to remove the pit, if you take a knife, be real careful, and do like that, and twist, it comes right out. So now I'm going to score this side down and across. And then scoop into my bowl. The next step is just to coat the avocado with the paste. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I lost a piece there. This is a chunky um, guacamole, but if you keep stirring, you can um, get some of those chunks a little bit smaller if you prefer. I personally like a chunky guacamole. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add our tomatoes. We're going to add the rest of our onions and another teaspoon of cilantro and stir. Now it's optional whether you want to add more serrano chilies or not depending on if you like um, heat from the chilies or not. Uh, it can be, get pretty hot if you put a lot of uh, serrano chilies in it. That's a pretty hot pepper. And you also would want to taste to see if you need to add any additional salt. Okay. 
as you can see, the more we stir it against the sides of this, um, this bowl, some of these chunks of avocado are actually getting a little bit smaller. So, this is our guacamole. So here's our finished guacamole. Usually I will just serve it in the bowl that I've made it in because I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to put some on a plate and show you what it looks like. I really hope you enjoy my favorite guacamole recipe.